it's not like I'm crazy and, and uh, you know, um, I imagine people will use this. There's actually a, a, quite a lot of competitors in the space uh, because you're making um, something very useful, uh, um, approachable to everybody at a very cheap cost. So it's open source code. It costs a few dollars to launch. Anybody can create a, a, his own currency. So actually, you have a lot of platforms, a lot of builders, uh, and some of them are, are really build, like focusing on an infrastructure. Some of them are really trying to think about a model. For instance, uh, Patreon. Uh, if you know Patreon, yes, yeah. uh, for uh, YouTubers, they can get like a, um, a support from the from the crowd. I'm guessing Patreon is taking like 20% or something like that. Um, so that's, that's, really, uh, that's really something you can avoid um, if you want. Well, you could, uh, if you were a YouTuber, you could create your own Patreon and create your own yeah. currency. There's a company that does social currencies and they have a specific model. So if you ask them how your model works, it starts to be very, very straightforward. Mm. I'm minting 5,000 coins. Everybody can buy the coins. I'm setting an initial price. And then uh, at, at certain milestones, we're releasing more and more and more. And it's a one size fits all solution for anybody that is using this Patreon alternative. Mm -hmm. um, so here you monetize your followers uh, and you're not doing it uh, by going through platforms that take uh, a lot of percentages. Uh, so you can create an Uber really straight in a straightforward way. You need payments and reputation and you have Uber payments and reputation and you have Airbnb. And you can remove their 30% that they, they take. Um, so so th those really are, are, you don't really need to go and, and build like a crazy model, only like taking an existing model and remove the 30% is, uh, is also possible uh, using those systems. Wow. So it's, it's, a, it's a replacement for all kinds of things where there's a high cost of use yeah. at the moment. And then yeah, it's so also... So, it's, it's, a way, it's a way for people to access blockchain without having to understand or code it or yeah. whatever. They can just, so just set same, something up. The same fiat ramps, uh, uh, on-ramps and off-ramps mm. uh, that you have in uh, Ethereum could be used to buy a token from you uh, that will be a, a Patreon alternative. Uh, and if you think about it, Patreon is nice, but... Uh, how about something that uh, works in all jurisdictions? Um, let's say even without credit cards, mm. um, or you know, depends on on the channel. But uh, definitely, um, uh, Patreon is not uh, something that people like all the world knows about. Um, but even if you go to like, it's it, it really goes on and on and on. Uh, like the the start, the biz, the models you can build. This is why we call them franchises. That if you succeed building one. You can really replicate it across pretty much everywhere. If you like this video, why not check out the full interview? It's an excerpt from. You should see a link to that full interview somewhere here on the screen and also down in the description box below. Consider liking this video and do subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with all my videos as they go live. Thank you so much for watching and stay curious.